Hi friends! Today I'm going to show you another art hack and that is ways to do art on the cheap. Put my coffee over here. Alright. So I'm on a larger cam today. This is my overhead cam so I can show you a larger project. This here is the Tim Holtz ideology tissue paper. It's beautiful. I love it. But it can be very expensive. And, you know, you're limited to just a few designs. So what we're going to do today is, I've done some of these a few months ago or probably a year ago now and I'll show you real quick it's just tissue paper just the tissue paper that you can get from any store the Dollar Tree even has tissue paper and these are just stamped with either inks or paint these ones that are real uh, light are from me cleaning off stamps after I use them. Tim this one. So these are great for pulling off pieces and using them as background in collages or in your journal or in jewelry. A lot of different projects. I took white tissue paper and did a harlequin stamp on it. This stamp I made just from an eraser and I'll show it to you here in a second. And then I did the same with white paint on black tissue paper. You can use spray inks, paint, and all the things together. So I'm gonna show you how to do this so that way you can get a little stash of tissue paper saved up. They're good for her adding to gifts or doing art. So let's get started. I like using whites, tans, and creams the best. I think I use them more in my projects. Just the sake of glare, I think I'm gonna use one of the tans right now. And you can buy this new, you can upcycle or recycle it from gifts that you get, packaging. Oh, there's my buddy Katie, that one is Anubis, saying hello. Hi buddy. See up here. Say hi. Yeah. Buddy. All right, had to kick them out because this can be a delicate process sometimes. So let's start simple. Let's just start with ink. We've got a couple different types of ink that I use. I do think the darker colors look the best, but we'll try a few. So just the first way you can make a nice sheet of patterned tissue paper to use however you wish is just by just simply stamping 
on the tissue paper. Now underneath here, this black, this right here is a piece of foam board. Also you can get this at the Dollar Tree. It's just a piece of poster board on top of some foam board. It gives a little squish for your stamp and it's really good with working with tissue paper like this. So let's just do, here we go, we've got a little skull and crossbones Halloween stamp. Let's make some Halloween paper since it's just about that time. Try though. You want to hold your stamp on for just a moment so that the ink has time to disperse into the tissue paper. There you have it. A little skull. So, since we're making some Halloween paper, I'm going to go ahead and do this guy a few times. Now this you could use for the whole piece of tissue paper. You could wrap it a gift in it. You could cut out just the skull and use it as a tattoo like I did in a past journal. You can use it for the backgrounds of your journals. You can make a tissue paper cover for a journal or for a book and then either Mod Podge it or do a nice acrylic over it. When doing these I like to run over the edge. I think it just makes it look like a little more like it was you know, hot off a wheel press. Now when you're doing this project, you need to make sure you have a pretty big area where you can lay and or hang the sheets of tissue paper. The ones that you do with ink, especially these quick drying inks, you're not going to have to worry about too much. But if we get into some spray inks, you're definitely going to want to hang the tissue paper on something and let it dry. Okay, I'm just doing a little simple pattern here. Do one more off the side here. Even on this bigger table, I still don't have enough room. That is always an issue. I like to spread out and make a mess. So, and this is nothing fancy. This is a dollar or two dollar stamp from the clearance bins at Michael's that they always have little stamps like this, wooden stamps for one to two dollars. They're the Craft Smart. Let's see, I think we're good here. Maybe do some over on this side. Just at the edges, refilling. Alright, so you could leave this piece of paper as is and make a few and just like I said use it in a gift but I'd like to do some more Halloween elements to this we will conquer all the oceans you can name no we won't take anything so I'm sorry I'm not slipping in, but don't worry, we'll find our way in, we'll find our way in.
say, okay, this is a great idea, but I have no stamps. Let's say you don't have any stamps, which was me, you know, a decade ago. So if you don't have a stamp, there's a lot of other things that you can do. If you have ink, here are some suggestions. This is just a piece of styrofoam from packing. Something that I got was packed in styrofoam and you can use it. This is just an eraser and some foam letters. You've got a stamp. Super easy. You can even find these foam letters sometimes at the Dollar Tree. If not, your craft store should have them. Doilies, also Dollar Tree. Mesh, like that fruit and melons come in. Giant bubble wrap. Normal size bubble wrap. In summer I have a little tiny bubble wrap, but I can't seem to find it. So let me show you here. Let's start with some bubble wrap. So if you have ink, that's great. If you have ink, you'll be able to take your ink pad. And I've used this with some paint in the past. And ink up your bubbles. You're not going to get the most perfect imprint ever. But you are going to get a pattern. And that's what ultimately you're going for. So. And press it down. You can do with any kind of ink that you have to do this. You're reusing essentially what was just going to go into the trash. So that's pretty neat, but if you don't have ink, let's try some, some just some folk art multi-surface craft paint. A brayer, if you don't have a brayer, you could use a rolling pin. You could use a paintbrush and brush it onto here. This is just a lid that I use. Now, your paper is becoming a little more delicate, so just be aware that it's a fragile piece of paper. Tissue paper isn't really meant to be structural or really hold up to much anything. So you don't want to leave your your bubble wrap on too long because it will start to stick and it might be very hard to get off without ripping. I mean, as you see, it doesn't really have to be precise. It's kind of chaotic. It's good for those days that you want to do something a little active, but you can't because you've got too much going on or you're not feeling 100%. So with paint, you can do some nice design with just basic bubble wrap. Here's our little bubble wrap. Just gonna fold it up here a little bit. Get some of our paint on here. I have always been a fan of bubble wrap and art because you can make 
a background or pretty much decorate anything. And circles, circles never go out of style. So there we go. Quick little paper. You could add more if you wanted to. I'm gonna leave as is. Now remember the paint ones take a little bit longer to dry. As you can see, it's gonna soak a little bit through tissue paper. Tissue paper is very thin. So just make sure it's on a surface that you don't mind it. And like I said, this is just foam board. Foam board, that's it. All right, let's say you can't find any bubble wrap. It happens. You think you stashed a whole bunch somewhere and now you can't remember where you put it? That happens. So, here's a piece of styrofoam. Now, using an ink pad on this, you're not going to get a very dark print here. It's just something light and in the background, which is nice because you can layer on top of that then. randomly what's kind of neat about styrofoam especially pieces like this that have some other kind of line or whatnot in it is that styrofoam has basically little pieces and so if you look up close you can see all the little pieces of the styrofoam and it's really quite cool I'm just going to continue to ink this. Just put some random, random styrofoam lines in here. Let's do some of the opposite direction. My puppies really don't like me closing the door, but I can't get a whole lot done when there's chaos of puppies deciding that this is their play hour. Alright, so that's just styrofoam. So that's kind of cool. Now, say you don't have a piece of styrofoam or you don't want to use that. But you have, let's see, this is a nice little doily. Pick a color. Just a paint. Let's, we're going to do this nice dark purple. All right. Those two colors are actually beautiful together. I happen to mix them a lot. Oh, oh, we got a booger. We got a paint booger. Woo! There it's out. That's good. I'll use it. So let's do a little bit of this actually that I still have some of this blue out and it's almost gone so I might as well use it. So let's do, there we go, I don't want to cover it too much. We're going to lay that right down in there. Press, doesn't matter that all of it is getting it or not, you just want to get it soaked with some paint. Pick it up, put it on, it's nice. and then if you have a second brayer like I used to, apparently I do not anymore. So I'm going to use this rolling brush. Just roll. Roll over this. Pick it up. There you go. Let's do that again. It's beautiful. point where we can go ahead and just sit it down in here. My 
house is always loud. We've got lots of animals. So I'm going to have to just make do with the happy household sounds. All right, this looks like this will be the last one for now. Let's it up here. And you can see I'm being kind of messy about it. I'm not being particular where things go down. I mean, you're not going to use this whole piece of tissue paper as is. So you're just kind of making parts and pieces that you're going to see. So now we're done with this, which we just dyed, which will be pretty when that dries. All right. Now, I've got all these tools that are dirty. This is where baby wipes come in. Have you seen the other videos that I've, I've used, my used up baby wipes? This is where they come from, projects like this. To clean up, keep my stamps clean, all my rollers. This roller I'll just rinse out. It's just one I keep rinsing out and using for projects like this that I don't have to worry about transferring color. I did a couple stamps. I want to make sure that are clean. And then all I do is take the wipes that I use to clean up, lay them out flat, let them dry, and then you've got all new art paper to use for something. And if you saw my recent video on tattered flowers, if not, check it out. I'll link it below. You'll see that I used up my last big stash. All right, I'm gonna let this stuff dry. One more thing, baby wipes, clean up. I totally forgot to do this. This is a good way to get your baby wipes colored for next projects. So, and it's kind of neat what you ever do you do with your this paper, this cloth will match the things that you did during that time of year, you know, whatever projects you did. This one kind of has a design in it. Let's see if we can't get that out. Cuz that would be kind of neat. Yeah, look at that. Pretty neat though. cleaning off whatever you use the stamps is handy. Cool design in there. Also, if you really want to clean off your stamps, spray it down with a little bit of water. This is distilled water. I always use distilled water because there's no bacteria in it. Anyways. The water just kind of loosens everything up so that way you get a little bit of better image there. Heck, you could take the tissue paper and do this. The blue one really doesn't have a whole lot on there. The little blue ones, but let's see. Look at that. And it did. So cool. So cool. And just so you all don't have to go over to another video to see if you want to know what I'm talking about, I'll show you some of these flowers that I made. Like these here. These are all made out of baby wipes that have dried that I used for cleaning up paint. And then just buttons that come out very colorful. I said I have a whole video on that that you can check out. Alright guys, I'm going to do some more and then I'll show you what I have at the end.
conquer all the oceans you can name No, we won't take any lane So I'm sorry for not slipping in But don't worry, we'll find our way in We'll find our way in Last one that I did. I tried to use my stamps and black paint to replicate as best I could Tim Holtz tissue paper. And that gives you an idea what kind of stamps you're going to want to get in the future. 
always look out at thrift stores uh, as thrift stores and uh, clearance is where I've gotten all of my stamps if they haven't been gifted to me. We had this one here, we're going to add a little bit to. And what I'm going to do to this one is just use our black paint again and the star stamp. I will show pictures of everything here at the end and I really do hope you try this and you know let me know how it works and let me know what stamps you have another cool thing about this is you can make your friends tissue paper that they can use in their art with your stamps so you could go get a roll of tissue paper for next to nothing stamp it with all your favorite stamps and then send them to your friends and then they can do the same with their stamps and then you literally can just cut out a part of the you know the tissue paper if you just want the stars cut them out and tissue paper is so nice to stick to canvas and other paper because it's just it's translucent other than you know what you've inked or painted on there so give it a try and let me know how it goes and if you like projects like this you know hit the subscribe button and you know say hello i'd love to meet you all and uh, get some ideas for uh, future projects. All right, you guys have a good week. Bye-bye.